What's going on guys, Orange Chat, Orange Page Man coming at you guys with a new video. Even though I said in one of my tweets earlier that I would never say what's up anymore. I've been saying what's up a lot recently. Okay, it's just because that's all I know, man. All the times I did YouTube, I would just, you know, say what's up and all that. I'm pretty big, by the way, right now, so just leave me alone. Um, what was I talking about? So let's, let's do the intro, right? Okay. Hello, it's me, Northern Chat. <laughs> No, 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 okay, okay, forget the intro. Listen, y'all, I just really want to express myself right now. If I wasn't in the state of mind I was in right now, and if I wasn't, like, how I'm feeling, and even though I'm still having bad days, it's not like life's perfect and I'm fucking glowing all the time. Sometimes we're not glowing. Sometimes the lights are off, yo, and it's, it's hard, but it's okay. Like, we get through it. We're just learning new ways to cope with everything, and it's fire, fire. But I'm just saying, I feel like if this was, like, two years ago, and I... Same thing happened, like I stopped YouTube and I came back and everything. I feel like I would have quit by now, low-key. Because like every video I'm uploading is getting pretty much demonetized for the most part. And it's doing absolutely garbage because they're not making money. And it's not even 10 minutes. All my videos aren't even 10 minutes anymore. So all my videos are going double plastic right now. And it's fine though. Like I'm still happy doing it. Get it. I used to wake up and the first thing I would do is check how much views my video had from yesterday. That would be the first thing I did every single morning. And like if it wasn't good, I would be pretty bummed out for the rest of the day. And if it was good, I'd feel great. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it became a drug at that point like just likes and views and all that shit and it's like uh, I feel like that part of me doesn't really give a shit anymore like if it happens awesome if it doesn't happen that's not gonna discourage me or make me not want to do shit more cuz I'm still getting like great engagement from the people that actually watch the videos but I'm finally happy that like I can say that and mean it cuz I whenever I said that before I did I definitely didn't mean it but now I actually mean it like how important it was to me to just be myself and how like like spiritually awakening that was Is that the right way to say it dude I'm baked I don't know like my spiritual awakening was like being myself, just being okay with being myself regardless of the consequences, regardless of like, dude, I've just been like appreciating the fact that anything could happen. Like tomorrow I could get into a car crash, die. Dude, like anything could happen any day. I don't want to waste my life not being myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause anything really could happen. And like, I don't want to die and people not know the real me because all I showed them was the side that I was, you know, that was my like comfortable side or my, I guess, my sheltered side, you know, to show them that side. But now that I'm just being myself and I'm showcasing everything about myself and I'm being completely open, dude, it just feels awesome. You know what I'm saying? It just feels great. Like, and that's really what made me feel like a lot less anxious about stuff, like on top of the medication I'm taking and stuff. Dude, it feels good to just be yourself regardless of the consequences. And I know not everyone can do that. I understand that. Like, I know I'm blessed to be able to like have a life to where I can do whatever my family supports me and like they just want me happy. Like, I know, I know, I know. I'm blessed to have that. And I know not everyone gets that. If it's in your life or if you feel like you can, I just urge everyone to just, regardless of the consequences, dog, just be you. Unless you're a fucking serial killer, then stay in the closet, I guess. I don't know. Just fuck off. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I'm just really high off life and, you know, grass. But, dude, still not 100% there. I'm not acting like I'm 100% myself yet, but it, I'm on the right track. Like, dude, let's just be fucking weird. Let's just get so weird. Like, I just plan on just doing what I want to do. Like, whatever comes to mind, whatever topic that I want to talk about, if something, if I feel like something's fucked up in, like, the community or something, I just want to talk about it, dog. But actually, I think I might be talking about a lot of that stuff with a podcast I'm doing with Apex soon, where we're making a podcast together, so it's going to be fire, fire. I got a cooking edibles with video with my mom coming up soon. That's going to be fire. You know, I'm like, I actually want to do that. Like, I would film that if I wasn't putting it on YouTube. I would film it just to do it, because that's fucking awesome, dude. That's my mom. And then we're going to probably have a roll off, you know? Like, me versus my mom. Like who can roll the most backwards in like, I don't know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Then I'll have like 15 backwards and it'll be blessed. But anyways, dude, whatever you do in your life, just make sure you're yourself because that is the most unique thing about everyone is that everyone is a little bit different. You know what I mean? Like people could be the same, but we're all different. And you all like get, you all become the same when you try to act like those other people. But when you're yourself, you're unique, you're different. People like things about you more because they're like, whoa, you're different. You're not like this guy, you're, you're fucking different. I'm not saying strive to be different because when people want to be different, they almost do different shit on purpose to almost act different. But then that's not organic, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, be organically different. Like if you do things differently yourself, don't be afraid to do them because society tells you that it's not good. Society says it's not good to drop out of high school. Oh my God, I shouldn't talk about this. I mean, that was like a flex opportunity, but then people might be dropping out of shit and then I don't wanna be responsible. So you know where I was going with that. What makes me feel good every day. And that's, that should actually save my life, bro. Cause if I felt like I had to be someone else's whole life, like nah, I didn't want to do it. I just want to be me. Like I just want to be me for the rest of my life. Like no matter what, like Billie Eilish, man. Someone told me she dressed in a garbage bag. Fuck yeah, dog. Like if I want, if that's what I feel like rocking, I'm a rock garbage bag, doggy. Like let's go. Like bro, just be comfortable in your own skin. Don't, who gives a shit about what other people think? Like, like again, like I said, unless you're a serial killer, then fuck off with that shit. But other than that, you're clear or, you know, there's a lot of things that you're not clear for. But for the most part, things are becoming more and more 
more socially acceptable because people are finally coming out of the shells and it's a beautiful thing, man. Listen, there is no normal anymore. That shit don't exist. Like we were trying to preserve a normal, but it ain't there. So stop trying to be normal. Like stop trying to live the normal life. Unless you like normal, then that's fire. Be normal. I'm not. And it's fucked that people judge you for not being normal. But it's like all good because they're sitting there judging and they're normal asses and they're just sitting there all normal as shit. And then you're out there just stunning, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited, man. I'm just excited for life. I'm excited to just be myself more and more and figure out more about me and figure out what I like, what I don't like. And I just want to be able to do as much as I can in this life because it can be kind of short, man. So be grateful for everything you got in life. Be grateful for everyone in your life and just always strive to be better, do better, and be yourself. And that's that's it, doggy. Keep it real. Fuck, we out here. All right, dab me up for that one on the spot, right? Yeah. All right, much love, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Peace out, everybody. Phase up. Keep it real. Scully, you want to say something? Oh, I'm dead, dude. I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh. The thing about having dads is that, like, they're cool, but you don't need them. You know, like, they could leave. They'll probably be fine. Trust. Trust.